I'm going to roll. There we go. So it seems I've figured out exactly how to use the Pro Tools aggregate uh, with the inbox and the built-in output and inputs all at the same time. So you can have multiple outputs from the inbox left and right as well as the built-in output all working at the same time in Pro Tools. So to set that up, audio MIDI setup would need to be correct first. Uh, in the Pro Tools aggregate window here, make sure that you select where it says use uh, the built-in input, output, and the Avid inbox. The drift over here would be with respect to built-in input and output running as a slave from the master clock already being set for the Avid inbox mini, which you can choose here as well. The best way to do this is go ahead, right-click, choose use the device for sound input in Pro Tools aggregate. Right-click again, use the device for the sound output. Yeah. What I did find out though, I couldn't hear sound in my Pro Tools built-in output and uh, simply because I didn't click on built-in output and unmute it. It must mute that by default. So be sure when setting the input output assignment in Pro Tools aggregate to go back to the built-in output and go ahead and uh, deselect the mute buttons. Inside of Pro Tools, some things need to be just right as well. And that would be easy enough to go to setup. First of all, make sure you're on the playback engine and choose Pro Tools Aggregate if you're not on it already. Then set up I.O. configuration. This one, when I actually went and opened Pro Tools from those other settings, I didn't have some of these options, of course, for input and output. Select the input, choose all of the inputs available, and of course, delete the path. And then just hit default, and you should find built-in output and inputs one and two, same with output. I would recommend going here, select everything, default, after only selecting the delete path. And you should see those pop up as well. Uh, we'll press OK, and of course no output, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this output. And here it is, built-in output one and two I could assign. And for this one I could say just output one and two from my inbox. And of course I can get audio from either one and everything is working perfectly.